Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and it is the perfect day to be in the parks. It's this beautiful fall weather. The temperature's in the low 80s, there's a nice breeze, and I decided to come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, there's a lot of new snacks here, and just have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. When I say this is the best time to come to Disney, I mean it because I love fall and in Florida it just hits different because you get that perfect temperature weather but you still have like sunshine and bright blue skies and it's the perfect combination especially to hang out in Disney World. I definitely want to ride some rides today and I noticed that Genie Plus is $22 and if you guys didn't know Disney raised their prices on a lot of different experiences Genie Plus being one of them on select days it goes from $15 to $22 and it's gonna be interesting to see if the wait times go down because less people are buying Genie Plus or if the wait times go up because more people are gonna be in the standby so I'm gonna find out check them all out and just explore today is Saturday so it's gonna be be a little bit busy no matter what because it's the weekend and when I booked my park reservation this was the only park that was available which is kind of odd so I think I want to go check out the Tower of Terror and see what the wait time is there if not then make my way down to Slinky Dog Dash before I make my way down to the Tower of Terror and check the wait time, I want to stop at the Sunset Ranch Market because that's where a lot of the new snacks are at and I want to check them out. Here is a look at some of the new snacks and drinks. They have a Mickey Mummy cookie, a Mickey shaped chocolate chip cookie with white chocolate mint frosting. Ooh, white chocolate mint frosting. Now that caught my attention. Then they have a spiced caramel apple and this is a fireball cinnamon whiskey, apple cider, cranberry and salted caramel drink. I like it just because of the little Mickey that you'll get in there. And then they also have a frozen apple cider. And this is cool because it's got the boba balls on it, but I'm not too sure which one I want to get. All right, even though all of those items look really, really good, I saw someone walking around with a milkshake like on the corner of my eye, and I was like, okay, that's the one. That's the silver tuna. I gotta get that. And I am definitely not disappointed. Here is the candy corn milkshake. Look at this thing. Like, honestly, once I got this and I was walking over to my table, three people stopped me and asked me where I got it from. And I am so excited to try it. I also got the pumpkin patch cookie. This is like a little snickerdoodle, and it comes with pumpkin candies and pumpkin buttercream on it. So we're going all in on the pumpkin today. We're pumpkin blessed. I have to start with the milkshake, though, because it is starting to melt a little bit. So we're going to try a sip of it first. And then we're gonna dunk the donut into the milkshake. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, I love it. Now we're gonna take the donut off. Take the donut off. Move this to the side. And then we're gonna do a little dunkaroo here. There we go. I love these milkshakes. I love how they put the donut on them. But it's so weird how it kind of isn't that cold. Like. Whenever they dispense like the uh, milkshakes out of the machine, they don't taste cold, they taste like warm, but the little cake donut on top is always my favorite part. Look at that. It's like you get a snack and a milkshake in the same, in the same sitting. All right, now let's get to the pumpkin patch cookie. And this is a snickerdoodle cookie too. And it is so soft and like warm that it's falling apart right now. If I just let go of one side, it'll start bending and then fall apart. And I love that. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of snickerdoodle though. There we go, nice little piece right here. Oh, maybe a little less, there we go. That's very good. My poor milkshake though is hanging on for dear life. Look at it, <laughs> it's so hard, I don't even know what to do. Like, I couldn't lift this up, I'm gonna make a big mess. You can't walk around and drink this. You cannot walk around and drink this milkshake. I mean, it's impossible. Look at that, it's so hard. I'm gonna have to take bigger gulps just to get the whipped cream down, but the whipped cream is already like an inch off the uh, cup there. Uh oh, oh, ah. I've decided to move my milkshake onto the plate because it keeps on making a mess. And anytime any whipped cream like drips off of anything, I just think of uh, Mrs. Doubtfire when she's dropping the whipped cream off of her face into the tea. <laughs> it, always, it always makes me smile. 
enough of the milkshake and cookie business. Now, let's go see about the Tower of Terror. Looks like the Tower of Terror is a 50 minute wait and both sides of the elevator shafts are working and that's not that bad for a Saturday 50 minutes. I've seen Tower of Terror sitting around like 120 all day long on Saturdays. So that's relatively like that's that's relatively low actually. Like I said, Tower of Terror being a 50 minute standby wait on a Saturday is a really good wait time, but I'd rather put that 50 minutes toward like Slinky Dog Dash, because I don't ride Slinky Dog Dash as much as I ride Tower of Terror, and is that, I think that's a little snake. I think, I, ooh, look at it. <laughs> look at a little baby snake. I love that. Be free, my friend, be free. Well, that was kind of cute. A little Disney baby snake just slithering around on the pavement. I picked them up and put them in the bushes so no one accidentally runs over them. But uh, I love that. I love seeing a little Disney nature. But like I was saying, if I'm going to wait 50 minutes, I'd rather wait for Slinky Dog Dash. And I'm starting to think maybe that was a bad idea because Slinky Dog Dash is 90 minutes. Toy Story Mania, 80 minutes. Smuggler's Run is 110 minutes. Rise of the Resistance is 105 minutes. This is, these are very long, long lines. Holy moly, why is Smuggler's Run longer than Rise of the Resistance? I feel like I should have just got on Tower of Terror. Now I, I've done, I've done goofed. i done goofed. These wait times are crazy today. Like, I really wanted to ride Slinky Dog Dash, but everything's over an hour. Some of them are pushing two hours, except Tower of Terror, which is at 50 minutes, which I don't even understand the logic of that. It doesn't even make any sense. And I was like, you know, if I just bought Genie Plus for $22, if I just paid $22, would that guarantee me riding Slinky Dog Dash today? And no. I went and looked. Uh, there were no uh, lightning lanes available for Slinky Dog Dash. So even if I paid $22, I still could not skip the line, and that is crazy. And also, Smuggler's Run has a longer wait than Rise of the Resistance. I don't know what's going on there. Even though I know Slinky Dog Dash is a 90 minute wait, I still want to walk down and see what it's like because sometimes those uh, uh, estimated wait times aren't really that accurate, and you got to judge it by the way the line looks. Well, folks, unfortunately, this looks like it's a 90 minute wait, but we'll time it anyway. It is 2.52, 2.52, but I feel like we're gonna be here for a while. I feel like it's kind of a conundrum because if less people are buying Genie Plus and there's less people in the Lightning Lane, so that means the standby lane will move a lot faster. But then again, if they're not in the Lightning Lane, then they're in the standby line. And then that way the standby line is longer because there's more people in it. So I really can't tell. Slinky Dog wags his tail, wiggles his body, and he can sit up and beg or bite a flea on his leg. Isn't that such a nice little poem? We are 80 minutes in and almost to the front of the line, so it was pretty accurate to that 90 minute wait time. And I think this is the longest I've waited for a ride in quite a long time, actually. So uh, at least I'll be super hyped when I get up there. Look at that, 416 now and we are finally at the front of the line. <laughs> Here we go.
his uh, mic cord comes down right here, his mic cord, and then you can see it comes up right here, and then it goes behind, but it's not attached to his mic. So that's so funny, like, <laughs> look, it's not attached. That ride will really make you feel great afterwards. Uh, even though it was like a 90 minute wait, I enjoyed myself, it was fun. And also I never noticed that uh, his mic isn't attached, that's the coolest little detail. I love being able to find things that you never really noticed before, you know? Now we've made our way back out to the front of the park. I saw that they had the Haunted Mansion dog bed uh, here at Hollywood and I've been wanting to get it for Gracie so I think I'm gonna actually swing over and pick it up and then we're gonna hop over to Epcot because I wanna get something to eat and there's something over there that they just started serving that uh, really wanna try. I have been looking for this dog bed for a while and I'm not even sure if Gracie's gonna like it or not because it's kind of like a doom buggy. It's a doom buggy dog bed and I'm not too sure if she'll actually sleep in it but I want to get it just so we can try. And they're selling Beria tacos over in Epcot in sunshine season. So I thought maybe we'd hop over there, grab some tacos, get Gracie a dog bed, all good things. Oh my lord, you have got to be kidding me. I was just here and they had the dog beds right here and I didn't pick it up because I didn't want to carry it around the park with me and they're all gone. I can't even believe it. What is this? Is this like a doom buggy? It is, it's like a doom buggy dog dish too. Oh, but that's too tiny, but I love that with Madame Leota. Oh, I'm so upset. I was here, I should have got it when I could. Oh, oh look it, we found one. They had one hidden down below. Gonna pull it out. There we go. Oh, we got so lucky. Oh, look at that. I'm getting it now. I think she's gonna love it. I think she'll actually use it. They didn't have a bag big enough for the bed, so I'm just carrying it around. And I'm very interested to see if Gracie's gonna actually sit in it. Uh, it was, I think, $60. So, I mean, if she doesn't use it, I'm sure she'll probably chew it apart. So, either I got a very nice $60 dog bed, or I just paid $60 for a chew toy. <laughs> It really doesn't look that big, but Gracie likes to curl up in like a little ball. So I figured I could just see her curled up like little, little like this. And then she likes to hang her little paws off. Like she likes to stick her paws out. And uh, yeah, I think she's gonna love it. I'm gonna love her being, I'm gonna love seeing her sit in it. Just gonna randomly sit Gracie's dog bed. Look, oh, it's flying away. I just set it down here to see what it looked like. Look, it, 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 it's flying away. Oh no, I was just chesting it out. How funny was that? Gracie's bed was like almost flying away and someone came over and they were like, hey, do you want me to help you with that? I was like, oh no, I'm good. I'm just testing it out. What do you think they meant when I, what do you think they thought I meant when I said I'm just testing it out? <laughs> it just sounds so funny to me. But from dog beds to spaceship Earth, that's how we roll. And we are in Epcot. Time to explore, get something to eat, maybe ride a ride. I bet you the wait times will be a lot lower here than they were at Hollywood Studios. And uh, have fun. I came all the way over here to Epcot because I really wanted to get those Beria tacos in sunshine seasons and they close at four o'clock. I can't even believe it. I even, why would they close so early? I was really wanting those tacos. They look so amazing. And now I'm just like, uh, came all the way over here for that. But I think maybe we'll head to Mexico, maybe grab something out of the quick service location there. But I'm still really sad. Maybe one day I'll get those tacos, the barrio tacos. They're in like sunshine seasons and everyone's been talking about them and I've missed it by minutes. Adios mios. <laughs> It is seriously such a beautiful day. I'm so excited. We're just going to head right back to World Showcase. Might get something to eat from Mexico. They have the quick service or they have the food and wine booth or just from any of the booths around World Showcase. There's lots to eat in World Showcase and I'm just happy to be here. Like I said, it is gorgeous out right now. Honestly, I just can't stop thinking about tacos. So we just stopped at the quick service location right next to San Angel Inn and we're gonna get a couple tacos. I mean, it's not gonna be the ones I wanted, but they're still gonna be good tacos. 
Looks like we've got a nice selection of tacos over here. I ended up getting the taco trio, so you get a little bit of everything. A little barbacoa, a little chicken, and then also they have one with shrimp too, so I'm excited. I'm gonna try all three of them, and also I got myself a little beer. I was thinking about getting this one, but I think this is really, really dark, so I went light today. Should've got a dose of keys though. Oh, these tacos look so good. Even the birds want them. <laughs> and I think we got a nice little spot by the water over here. Oh, even the squirrels want the tacos. This is kind of a crazy day. Squirrels, snakes, birds. Oh boy, that's a no. <laughs> Look at this. We've got the chicken. We've got the barbacoa. They put salsa on the barbacoa. And then we got the shrimp along with some rice and some beans. And we got the beer. Everything's all good. Gonna go with the chicken taco first. There we go. Put a little rice on there, a little salsa. Much too good. Now it's time for some barbacola. Watch out for those birds, they're gonna come after you. Did you get the plantains? Yes, sir. Nice. <laughs> this is gonna be a messy taco right here, a sloppy taco. Mm. So good though. Those tacos did the trick. I absolutely loved them. Not as good as probably the Barrier tacos, but we'll get them eventually. And now it's time for us to make our way maybe over to Soren. I wouldn't mind going for a ride on Soren. And then also I want to tell you guys about this really cool uh, Soren-like ride that I did in New York City when I went and visited a couple of days ago. When I was in New York City, I was able to ride a soaring attraction like that was over New York City. It was called Rise uh, New York. And it was just like soaring, but instead of going around the world, you just went over all of New York City. And it was amazing. Like, I wasn't vlogging that day, but I did record the ride itself. So I might try to add it in at the end of this video after we get home and see Gracie and show her her new dog bed. I might add it in if I could, though, because I don't know, because a lot of the music in there is copyrighted. Right, like they, of course, they play that song like in New York, and I, honestly, I got goosebumps because you guys know Soren is one of my all-time favorite rides, and to be able to do that over New York with the music, it was awesome. So I'll try to add it in, but for now, we're gonna go ride the regular Soren, which I love dearly. And here it is, soaring around the world. Hopefully, it's not too long of a line. It says 50 minutes, but I think it's gonna go by pretty fast. That was actually only about 20, 30 minutes, so that's not too bad at all. So if you get up here and put your ear against the wall, you can literally, it'll cancel out all the sounds. You might be able to do it on this one too. Yeah. Oh wow. Do you feel it? That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Just... You don't feel that? Go ahead, Sean. <laughs> right? Have a nice flight. Have a nice flight. Soar in the tower. I'm gonna take off these precious babies. <laughs> Soar in the tower. We are ready for takeoff. was amazing we didn't get b1 we got c1 which is pretty good but it was still like it was still like this you, you know what i mean b1 is the only way we get like that perfect like straight shot everything else is all distorted like the <laughs> leaning tower of pizza 
now we're making our way up front and it's awesome because it's that time where it's still daylight out and spaceship earth is all lit up in its glory look at that this is the best time to see it like this i love it the air right now is absolutely beautiful look at yeah that's how i feel walking out right now it's oh so nice. it's the nicest this is the time to be in the parks well except for it's super busy but Comfortable wise, this is the time to be in the parks. You can do it, yes you can. That was really cool to be able to catch the show on Spaceship Earth. Now it's time to go see Gracie Girl and present her with her new bed and hopefully she enjoys it as much as I'm going to probably enjoy her enjoying it. I got you a new bed, Gracie. Come on, it's time to move out. I got to take this bed away. Let me take this one. Come on. Come on. You tore this one up. Look it. It's all empty. There we go. We'll take this one out. Let's see. Moment of truth, guys. There's the new bed. Come on in, right there. It's crazy, it's the new bed. I'm gonna lay in it. I'm gonna lay in it. Come on. Come on, I'm gonna lay in the new bed. Come on, little one. You wanna try the new bed? Huh? You wanna try the new bed? You wanna try the new bed? I don't think she's interested in the new bed. Oh, oh, she's coming. Nope, she ran to her other bed. She has a lot of beds. Now she's in this bed. See, <laughs> she likes to lay with her little paws out. Yes, oh, it's a baby girl. And she destroyed this one. Look at that. But this is your new bed. Come here. Over here, right here. It's a doom buggy. Oh, it's a doom buggy. Come on. Come on, you'll love it. All right, I, pr I tried to put it over there. Go ahead, new bed. Come to the new bed. New bed. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I don't think she likes it. She never got in the bed. So sad. Now she's over on the other side. I thought it was gonna happen. I, I thought maybe she would like it, but I guess not. So if she does end up doing it, I'll add a little clip in, cause I'm gonna try to record her without her me like watching her. Cause she does get camera shy and I know she doesn't do things when the camera's on her. So, uh, oh wait, she's looking at it. No. <laughs> I thought she was, but no. Look at her. Look at you. <laughs> Look at these ham hocks. Look at these ham hocks right here. Come on, you don't want to go into the little bed? Just the ones. Just the ones for daddy. Come on. Just the ones. Huh? Let me see your little TD. Oh. All right. All right. I guess that calls it a night, and uh, yeah, had a, a lot of fun today. Got to hang out at Hollywood Studios, go to Epcot, got Gracie a bed that she'll never use, and uh, yeah, we're all done. Oh, and also, I'm gonna try to add in the Soren footage, well, the Rise New York footage, at the end of this video. If it did not come in, that means I can't share it with you guys because of copyright, but if it does, I hope you guys enjoy it. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> we, uh oh.
Oh, oh, oh. We're tilting back. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Trump, counting you down to the new year, 1958. Hi, Margaret. Thanks, guy. Well, the weather is turning nasty here in Times Square, but that has not damaged spirits. And there it comes. Smoke in the center. Listen to the roar now. I can't tell about the crowd or the thunder that has begun to roll. 